A few weeks ago, I created this portfolio on Figma and I asked you guys if you wanted to see how I did this on Webflow to leave a comment down below and I'd show it to you guys. Well, here we are a couple of weeks later and that's what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna do a full breakdown of how I built my portfolio website on Webflow. I'm gonna go over all the divs, all the sections and everything that I had to do to actually make it come into fruition. So last time you saw the portfolio, it looked like this. I had my landing page and then a project CMS on the right here. I had to make some changes and some developments and so you'll see them as we go along into the actual video. But just to remind you guys really quickly, this is what the landing page looked like. There's a hero with my description and my picture, some project showcase, the content creation side of things. So this is mainly a portfolio to showcase my YouTube and my content creation and everything like that. And then also my professional side. So my freelancing, my website and my branding projects and everything. It's supposed to come into one nice package and that's what this is supposed to be. So we've got content creation, we've got an about me where you can read more about what I do and who I am. And then this is supposed to be an accordion toggle menu where you can kind of flick through all the things that I do. Then this is supposed to be a nice animation where it scrolls as you scroll, a nice testimonial section, a contact section, and then a blog section where I'm gonna be developing some blogs and publishing about some videos that I make. Then here's this nice little custom separation. And then down here, there's a newsletter. Then at the footer, we also have my logo, which I also created in one of my videos. That's the link right there. And then also just some links to my socials, Twitter, Instagram, things like that. And then for the actual project CMS, we go over here and then there's this big hero image, the project, the title, some text, and then some more supporting images. Last there is this more project sections and that's pretty much it. There's not a lot of text here and that's kind of the point. You wanna sell them on the images rather than the text. So let's just jump right into Webflow and I'll show you guys a little bit about how this came into reality and what I had to do to get there. So this is the first thing that you see when you jump on Webflow. Now, you're gonna notice that right off the bat, this text is inverted. And the reason for that is because if you see on Figma, the actual text itself has to sort of invert over the picture. And to do that, you need a little bit of custom code and I followed some tutorials to do that. I'm not really good with code myself, but anyways, I got it done and it looks pretty good in real life. If I do this little preview here, you'll see just exactly what I mean by that. The text itself is dark gray or black, and then the text that is on top of the image is actually white. Then we have this nice picture of myself where I'm smiling, and as we scroll along, we see this project page. Now, a difference to my other video where I have this project section, I had a big plus button here. Now, that doesn't really work unless you have a lot of custom code for some reason on Webflow. And so what I decided to do is kind of get rid of that and just have a view all button. Now this is gonna take you to a separate projects library or catalog where you can see all the projects that I've showcased. These projects are linked by a collection list. So everything here has its own linking to the specific images and all the text as well as is linked to the title of the actual project and that's easily doable in Webflow. So as we scroll down, we see the content creation. This hasn't really changed much. It's an embedded video of the actual video where I designed this website on Figma. Link is also up there. And then this is an anchor link that takes you down to the contact section. As you scroll down, you have this about me section with the accordions. And if you check it out on the real site, you'll see that it has a nice animation. And if you open another one, then the other one closes. So that's kind of what I really wanted. And I have a tutorial on that coming rather soon. So as you scroll down, you have this testimonial page and I decided to turn this into a symbol so that I can use it on my other pages as well. As we move further along, we have the contact and it's also a symbol. So pretty much everything you see going down will be a symbol as well, just so you can easily replicate it into other pages and other sections. Then down here you have the newsletter and everything is centered to be in the middle. So if you go into quick preview mode and we go to this section here, you'll see that as we scroll, we have this animation that scrolls to the left as we scroll down. Now that's done with a simple animation here. If I go into my actual animation section, you'll see that there is this, when the page is scrolling, then you have these two sections that move when you actually move through the screen. So if we check out the project section, which is what you saw in the Figma file, you'll see that there is the project section just completely built out. And one of the key things with this sort of layout is that I'm gonna need to do custom images and custom 
custom formatting for every single image that I do. Although there is a sort of a, a mask that protects anything that goes off the, the certain constraints, it will look better if I make a custom version. So that is something to take into consideration when you do something like this, where it's just the entire page basically is a super wide image. So over here we have the texts and this is also part of the CMS. So everything is linked to the actual CMS file where if you create a new project, it'll just update with the correct information, all the correct images, and everything is just in place and that's exactly where you want it. So as we scroll down, you'll see that the more projects section isn't really complete yet. And that is because I'm pretty much producing all these projects as I go because I have to kind of remake them because of the constraints and the images. So I'm still waiting to do all of these images here where they'll fit nice into the actual layout. And over here in the footer, you'll see that I updated with this little tag here, designed with Figma and built on Webflow. So if we want to check on all of the actual projects, we need to go into the project section Section, or you can actually access it over here with a nav bar for work and you kind of have an overview of all the projects that I have now again I need to kind of redo all of these so don't really pay too much attention to them but that's pretty much the actual navigation now down here we have what I was talking about which is the symbols so I have my blog the separation and the newsletter I also have the footer which is also a symbol now before I show you guys any more of my website and any more of what I've done make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos just like this one so moving on to the next section we have a contact page which is just simply a, a group of symbols it's the nav bar, the contact section, and the footer. Those are all symbols so I can reuse them on as many pages as I want. We go on to the about me section and you'll see that it's pretty much not really complete in terms of content and writing but with a layout it's all there. So this is going to be a section where I explain a little bit about what I've done, some of the people that I've worked with, why people should look into hiring me for example, and this is just going to be a little biography if you could call it that about what I've done and, and who I am and things like that. And then over here we have a client section where I explain that I've had the pleasure of working with some pretty great people and then I list a few of the companies and then just 18 more. I didn't want to do just a massive logo cloud or logo gallery like a lot of people do just because I don't think it really fits with this um, style. Now maybe something I will include is the links to each uh, company but I don't really know if that's necessary because I don't know if clients actually care about this when they go in and check out the the website. And then down here is another symbol and you can just write everything you want and say hello to me or get some more information about how I work and get in contact with me about a project. And then down here is another symbol for the blogs, the newsletter and the footer. If you guys want this website to build your own portfolio or your own template, then go over to this link, which I'll leave in the description, head down all the way to the bottom and leave your name down in the newsletter. Now, I'm obviously not going to start just spamming you with a bunch of promotional emails. This is just so you guys can actually get the download. So yeah, leave your email down there and I'll make sure to send it over. Now, if we take a look here to the blog section, you'll see that there is a little link here where you can see now. Well, I want to show you guys exactly what I created here. This is a super, super simple layout, but I think it's very, very effective. There's a huge header image, which is the first thing that you'll see when you go on it. So maybe I'm talking about logos or this might be a new video that I create, something like that. And then the title, the date that it was published, and then the actual content. This is all CMS. This is all, this all has its own collection for blogs. So if I go over here and I click on this, you see that everything has its own field and you can just input it. And when you create a new one, it'll create a new CMS page. Now this will only be the most recent blogs or featured blogs. I don't really wanna do a massive category or library like I have with the project section, just because I don't think it's the main focus of my website. I only want it to be something that's kind of on the side, but still gets me SEO leads and things like that. If you guys notice here on the top of the nav bar, you'll notice that there's a section for services. Now, you may have noticed that on the homepage, there's a section for an about me and people can kind of get to know me like that. And then there's these accordions that kind of explain what I do, but there isn't really a section section that explains how I work, what are my prices, what are my fees, things like that. And so I went out on Figma, designed it there, and then I brought it into Webflow and I created this services page. This isn't 100% completed yet, but I wanted to show you guys, even though it's not ready, just because I think it is pretty cool and you guys might actually learn something from this. So the first thing you see is this hero. This text here is obviously filler text, but it's gonna say something along the lines of upgrade your design or do this, do that, and it's kind of incentive 
incentive for clients to actually scroll down and get to know a little bit more about how it work. Now down here, also ignore the, the padding and things like that. As I said, it's not really complete yet, but as we go along here, there's gonna be some pain points that the client might experience. Like maybe they have a bad template of a website and it's not really that good, or maybe their branding is just kind of subpar and they wanna upgrade it. Well, that's kind of what this section's supposed to be. It's gonna be a section where they can kind of empathize with what I'm writing and be like, oh yeah, I, I feel that, I know what you're talking about. Let me find out more about what you do and how you can help me. Down here, I have how I work and how my methods are. And then I also have everybody has their own style and their own priorities. So if you have a different method, then obviously let me know. So I've got brand interview, research, design, and then implementation. This is, I think, a pretty basic way of doing things, but anyways. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there's this pricing section or my, my complete package. And this has kind of a different design that I haven't really seen a lot of people do yet, but I think the way that I laid it out is quite interesting. So I've got five different sections here. I've got three individual div blocks, which kind of split up the title, the deliverables, the time scope, and then the price. I've got that three times. I've got a bundle discount, which is just the title of, of the section, a little description, and then the old price and the new price. And then I've got extras. So if you want something more long-term or something like that. The reason why I really like this is because I have a really clear and kind of, I say it here, like a very transparent and no BS way of, of seeing it. I put my prices right here and then this is what you're getting from it. And personally, I also really like the style, even though there's no bold or italics or anything like that. I think it really, it, it's a very neat way of explaining things. So as we go down here, we have just another symbol for testimonials. We've got another why me section, kind of explaining a little bit more about what I do. And this is gonna be the same text from the about me section. So everything that I write there, I might put it in here. The same image. Obviously, I might have to get a different image and then just an FAQ section where some clients might have some questions like, for example, do you offer support after the project is done? And then obviously, yes, I do. But then I have to explain that that yes, I do. And then as we keep going down, we have the same contact. We have the blog section and then the newsletter. So that's pretty much everything I have done for the portfolio. A lot of it is responsive for mobile, tablet, sideways, everything, except for this page. This page isn't really ready yet. <laughs> as you can probably tell. But I just wanna show you guys everything that I've done so far just because I talked about it so long ago and then I never made a video about it. So I just wanted to kind of go over it really quickly. Now, the site isn't really up yet, but if you wanna check it out, you can go on the link in the description and that's kind of my, my preview mode or my kind of not really published yet, but just the half published version, if you can kind of call it that or imagine it that way. If you guys have any questions about this whatsoever, then let me know down below in the description. I'll do my best to reply to all of them, obviously. And if you guys have any suggestions about how I can improve this website, then I'd also love to hear it because I'm obviously always ready for any opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one.